This is absolutely ridiculous. I am about halfway through the bag and no finds really yet. Um, but can you guys see what I'm seeing right now? How about now? I've got a crown die chip here. I found one of these in my last quarter hunt. That is currently probably easily like a $50 quarter up to like $80. Sorry for my hands, I just want metal detecting working on a different video, but look at that. This one's in pretty good shape, too. Got some scuffs on the obverse, but all together, I mean, that's that's a pretty nice looking coin. So that definitely is more valuable than W's. I could find two to four W's probably, and it wouldn't be as worth as much as this one. So I'm pretty stoked about that. This, I believe, is my 12th or 13th crown die chip that I've found. I must hold a world record or something. I find these more than I am finding W's these days. But uh, yeah, back-to-back -back hunts of finding these. I think recently in most of my quarter hunts, I've found one. So that is amazing. Let's see if we can get any other finds going. This has been a slow bag, like I said, but love to see this coming out. That's a good sign for sure. These modern quarters always have the best errors. I am... Pretty close to the end of the bag here, but it seems like we're getting a lot of the finds in the second half of the bag. We're going to have a pretty nice die chip on this 2022P. This is going to be a Dr. Sally Ride um, Washington Quarter, and that's going to be a Drooling George for us. So I'll add that one to our small keeper pile, but it seems like we're picking up here. So this is pretty interesting. I've got two... 2022 quarters here. I think these are both going to be man killers. They are. And if we look at this one, can you see below the hairline? There's like a little line there. And that's not supposed to be there. If we look at this one, you don't see that line there. That one has it though. So I think that's either going to be a die crack or it potentially could be a die clash. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into this one and see if I can find anything about it. But that's an error I've never found. That's an interesting one. And I'll add that to the keeper pile and try to find out more about it later. Looks like we've got a beat-up proof here. It's going to be a 2000 South Carolina. And that is a proof. we got the estimate mark. It's definitely been in circulation a long time, but I don't find proof quarters too often, so I'm happy to have it. And that is going to be our fourth find pretty quick here. Hopefully it keeps up. I am really crossing my fingers for a W in this one. So I've got a couple finds right here, and they're actually both going to be on crossing the Delaware quarters. We've got a couple errors here. This one, I think that's a die chip. I found these before, um, but it's just a little one on the tip of the hat. They look kind of weird. It almost kind of looks like an indent to like a strike through of some sort. It's just weird, but I have found a few of these before. It's definitely some kind of error, though. We'll keep that one. And right next to it was this one here. And this is just going to be one of those common um, 2021P crossing the Delawares with the little die chip on the corner of the hat there. We can take a look at some of these closer at the wrap-up to look at these die chips a little bit better. But two more finds for the keeper pile. We don't have a ton of finds this hunt, but we do have some pretty decent errors. Um, and not a lot left to look through, so we will uh, get this done here. And if there's no other finds, I'll see you on the wrap-up. That's going to do it for the bag. It was a pretty slow bag in terms of finds, but I did get one of the better finds that I'm able to get. It's going to be a 2021P crossing the Delaware Crown die chip. I think I've got close to maybe like 13 or 14 of these that i found in the past like year i would say so that's pretty awesome that's like probably like a 50 to 70 dollar coin at the moment we got a proof uh just some die chips here we've got a drooling george another drooling george with a smaller die chip uh we've got something going on here with this one some kind of die chip die chip right there a couple die cracks on these spitting horse errors this one's pretty nice uh, extra cactus leaf die chip on this Arizona 2008. And we've got some snow on the roof on this 2015 homestead. These are always pretty cool to find. 
So not a great amount of finds. I do plan on getting back out and getting some more coins though. And I will show you guys what I can find if I get any coins. All right, I am back with more quarters and I've also got nickels and dimes here. Um, speaking of which, I actually did go out and buy a nickel album. So I'd like to start filling these slots up. This one's gonna go from 38 to 61. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how to get to 61 though. I think somehow this page flips, but I don't wanna like force it and rip it or anything, but I don't really care to collect 60s nickels anyway, so I'm probably just gonna go up to 52 there. But I got that. I don't think I'll do a series with it. I'll probably just uh, fill it up as I hunt nickels. So there's a chance to get some, uh, some fillers in here. I don't know exactly how much I have in here, but I think we have mostly quarters. We've got like a hundred in dimes and then maybe just a tray of nickels. I don't have too much, but let's dive into it. I will start with the, we'll start with the nickels here and work our way up uh, and then we'll end with the quarters. So I'll show you guys if I get any finds. I've got my first find here on roll three of the nickels. We've got an estimate mark and I already went ahead and flipped this one just cause I was hoping for the, the 48 or 49 for the semi key. We are gonna have a 47, not quite a semi key, but still cool to see that estimate mark. And I definitely can use it for the album here. So I'll put it to the side. We'll put that in at the end of the hunt. Roll four could give me silver here if I'm lucky. This rim looks a little suspicious. So let's take a look and see what this is gonna be. And it's not silver, it still looks old though. And that's a 49D, that's another one I can use for the album, definitely just a shame it's in such bad shape i'm sure it won't stay in there long once i put it in there well roll six is looking pretty promising here i see a 1940 right there and i got an estimate mark right here looks old so we'll flip this one first and see what this is going to be that's a 1940 as well 1940s hopefully the other one is a d or a p so i can get it in that album let's see let's go through these real quick and make sure they're not old and that one is gonna be a D. So just missing the 1940p at this point. But four finds out of, what is this, five rolls so far? That's pretty solid. We actually are on roll five. I think I said roll six earlier. That is my bad. But we've got, I think, two nickel rolls left. So hopefully we can get on some good finds there. Well, the next roll got me a 1941. It seems like we're getting a find at least every roll here recently. It's another one in awful shape. It's kind of a bummer the beginning of this album is going to be so many worn down and gross looking coins, but it's a good start. I'm not complaining. This reverse here on my final roll of nickels looks pretty old and it is in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Let's see if we got a 40s nickel here. Wow, we do. It's not perfect, but that is a really nice looking nickel. I think that'll stay in the album for a while. It's got a 1941, I mean, it's got no mint mark, but it's a 1941. That looks really nice. I see a few steps on the reverse there. That'll be a nice one to get in there. I'm happy with that. That is the last roll too. I was thinking it was all gonna be nasty old nickels there, but we did get a nice one. Hopefully there's another one in there. If not, onto the dimes. Hopefully we don't get skunked on the silver with those. I haven't been counting the rolls just because I haven't found anything. So I was expecting that these were from a collector, but if we look here, I think I do have a silver right here. Crossing my fingers, that's not Canadian. It does look to be silver though. So let's take a look. Oh, that's silver 100%, 1950. Wow, look at the toning on that too. It's worn and it's not in good shape, but that's cool, that is nice toning. And that's a nice old one. I don't find many from the 50s, it's usually 60s. Super happy to see that. I wasn't really expecting a silver quarter. Hopefully we can get more um, because it is from one of these rolls and we do have some left. So hopefully we can pull another one or a W. Same roll, we've got a bird's nest uh, 2021P crossing the Delaware quarter. We got that little die chip on the hat there, Washington. Two finds in the same roll and they're the first finds. That's pretty awesome. So that's gonna do it for all of the coins that I'm gonna search in this video. I did do a $1,000 bag and then just some customer apps and I did pretty decent. 
Uh, I could have got some more finds, but I'm happy with uh, some of them I was able to pull. I'll start with the um, fills I was able to get for my album here. The nickel album that I just purchased. I got a 1940D, 40S. This 41 is in really good shape. Uh, really high mintage on that one, but still, that's that's a great find. Um, we've got, I think, two more fills here. we got a 49D. I feel like that's in decent shape underneath all that crust. And a 47S. So five fills for i think we had under 10 10 rules so that wasn't too bad um so not a bad start on the nickel album i plan on implementing this into every nickel hunt i do from now on on to the quarter finds actually we did get a 41 that was a duplicate of that really nice one so i thought i'd show that real quick but we do have the crown die chip we got the proof i already did a wrap up of these so i'm gonna go through these kind of quick south carolina 2000 proof we've got some Ruling George is here. A couple uh, die chips on these 2021 crossing the Delawares. We got a 2015 Homestead snow on the roof. Arizona extra cactus leaf right here, 2008. A couple spinning horses here. Um, we've got another 2021 P crossing the Delaware with the bird's nest die chip. And this was awesome to find. We got a 1950. Philadelphia minted silver quarter. This has got some nice toning to it. It's in pretty horrendous shape, but I'm really happy to have it. I do not find silver quarters very frequently. I think the last one I found was probably in a, I want to say it was in a bag. So it's always awesome finding them in these rolls. It's pretty worn, but it's still a silver quarter. And by me, these are really rare to find. So very happy with that. So that's going to have to do it. Thank you all for watching this one. I am going to be out uh, doing some more quarter hunts in the near future. I think I'm going to try grinding these bags a little bit harder. Um, but thank you all for tuning into this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the hunt here. If you like the video, give me a subscription. If you're not yet subscribed, like the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks again for watching.